Recently, I traveled out to the National Weather Service office, located at Mobile Regional Airport, to learn more about the lightning strike the radar tower sustained just last week. I spoke with Jeff Garman, the Warning Coordination Meteorologist. He told me about the strike and about just how much lightning is misunderstood. Mr. Garman helped debunk some common myths and misunderstandings about lightning, like the fact that lightning and rain don't always coincide. It doesn't have to be raining at, at their location for there to be lightning occurring. In fact, lightning can occur many miles away from the rain area of the storm. It's the cloud that's over you and the separation of charges between that cloud and the ground is where the lightning will travel. Hear the thunder, you're in fact, the range of being Mr. Garman says that most and injuries and fatalities occur on the outer problem. edges of the storm where Go it's inside, not raining and people don't yet feel the need to seek the, shelter. Get out of the if it's not raining, people assume that they're all right. I think most people make that assumption. Mm -hmm. is being on the periphery. Of yeah, the and I actually think people are more concerned about getting wet than they are getting. Mm -hmm. struck by the lightning. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, I've seen that on the golf course. I've seen people continue to play with lightning striking nearby. Um, only when it started raining did they get in their golf cart or start making a motion to get to safety. Even the National Weather Service is not immune to lightning dangers. Just last week, the radar tower was struck, causing the Weather Service to rely on other offices and networks for radar data. After being to the top of the tower, it's obvious that its height is its own worst enemy when it comes to attracting lightning strikes. Just to give you an idea of how tall the radar tower actually is, I'm here just below the radar dome, and this is actually a few hundred feet up in the air, and you can actually see the fact that the land is so flat behind me, how much of a threat this actually is for lightning for getting struck. For News 5, I'm Kate McKenna.